All right, I needed a couple more feathers. And so today, that's what I'm going to be creating. And uh, about all the time I'm going to have to do for creating them. Uh, got my hot tea. Oh, that feels good. Especially on a cold day. All right, I got the armatures for the feathers made out of a small gauge uh, steel. Now it's just a matter of getting some wax that I've softened up. And the reason I'm using wax is only because it holds its shape better than plastiline clay does. It, uh, when it hardens or cools. When it gets to be the right temperature, <clears throat> then it goes through the uh, pasta machine a lot easier. I'm going to stick the wire in and uh, Run it up the uh, middle. That puts it inside the uh, feather. Okay. Just gonna trace this feather out with this feather. I put my wire tool on the edge and I angle it up towards the center. That way I get a nice uh, angle on the feather. And in this case I'm taking down some of the thickness of the feather. I do the same thing on this side. Now I go with my this edge down and this edge up to a cup it, so to speak. Okay, that's pretty clean. Now I'm going to go with the serrated edge on this side from the uh, quill towards the edge of the feather. This gives me the texture that I desire. Do the same thing on this side. Now I'm just pressing the edge to get the edge yeah, just a little thinner. There we go. Now, I need 
need to make a quill. I just roll it under my fingers in an even pressure working down towards the end and making it thinner making it thicker on this edge and thinner on this one all right I'll lay this on the uh, feather and just lightly press it down and I try to feel that they both line up okay that's one feather almost done. Now, I'll put a little character in it. tool with the uh, thinner ridges and just lightly go over that because that's the texture I've got on the original feather and if you're going to have it on one feather you better have it on all of them I'm just giving a slight curve to the uh, feather because uh, they'd curve down on this side and curve up on this side. There we go. There we go. Two feathers. Got one more to do, and I'll go ahead. And, I'll go ahead and do that one off camera or neck. All right, that's uh, how you make a feather, and uh, see you next time.